Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at BSS load and how you can find that using Wi-Fi Explorer or looking at frame captures using Wireshark. In my lab, I'm going to be using a Meraki access point and I'm going to use one of my mobile devices to trigger load to see what happens and how we can view that and what happens across different access points as well operating on the same channel. But first, why don't we understand what BSS load is. So BSS load is basic service set load. It's formerly known as the uh, QBSS load element. Was it's, it's, it's defined in the 802.11 standard and also part of 802.11e. Now the BSS load is what's used to communicate its channel usage to devices. And and it's supposed to help devices with selecting which access point they should roam to. Now, I think it might be used by devices. I don't think devices actually use QBSS or BSS load to roam to an access point. And that's just based on my experience seeing ac uh, devices associate to access points, even though they have a high BSS load. Now, if we dive into uh, Wi-Fi Explorer here, and so what I'm gonna show you is a list of different SSIDs here uh, around me. There is one column that you could add called channel utilization. Now, channel utilization here, uh, you can see that this particular uh, SSID using a Netgear access point is displaying its BSS load. But down below, you could see that there are uh, arrows that are not showing their BSS load. So not every single access point supports BSS load or displays its BSS load. Why that is, I'm not sure. It's not a required thing for access points to advertise or, or use. And so it's important to know that if you don't see BSS load, it doesn't mean that there is no load. It's just that the access point is not displaying it. So if I click into one of these, this is an ARIS access point, you can see 26% channel utilization. Now, the one thing I want to show you, this is Wi-Fi Explorer. Very easy to see that, that uh, channel utilization, which is also the BSS load. Why don't we head over to Wireshark and I could show you what that looks like from a frame capture perspective. So here we are in Wireshark. This is the frame capture that I took. And uh, I took these frame captures using my own tools. I have uh, an Etherscope NXG that I use to pick the channel that I want to capture on and then be able to upload that to Link Live and download it to my computer. Now you can use other tools to look at the BSS load and the Etherscope is one of them as well. There is another way to look at BSS load, which which is also channel utilization, and is, that's by using a spectrum analyzer. So you could use something like the Sidekick or Sidekick Two from Ekahow to to display what that channel utilization is. Now going back to Wireshark, uh, if you see here this SSID packet six. In the beacon frame is where you're going to find BSS load. So if you expand the tagged parameters, there is a QBSS load element right here, and it shows you the channel utilization. Now there is a value here. It goes all the way up to 255. 255 is 100% channel utilization. In this case, it's the value is 11, and that is 4%. The other thing that the BSS load element will show you is also the station count. And this tells you how many devices are associated to this access point. Now the question that might arise is, what happens if this AP operating on this channel, on channel 124, has a BSS load of 4% or higher, and there is another access point in the area that also has a uh, on the same operating channel, will it see the same BSS load? Now, depending on how that other AP in the surrounding area can hear the other devices communicating and the utilization, it may pick up all of that utilization and also display that same utilization 
number or it may have an increase. And that's just what I've seen in my testing and in other environments. So that's how you find BSS load using Wi-Fi Explorer or looking at a frame capture. Now, one thing to note that the actual utilization, the BSS load, is not going to be impacted by the number of devices that's associated to it. And that's because the utilization actually comes from the amount of traffic that's occurring over the air. And the way that APs actually take their um, BSS load value is to determine or, or see what is going on on the medium. So they'll do a physical carrier sense or a virtual carrier sense in order to determine if the Wi-Fi medium is busy, the RF. If there's anything detected, any signal detected, then it counts as part of the BSS load or channel utilization. So that's how you, you, you use Wireshark or Frame Capture to find BSS load and what BSS load means. So I'll include uh, a link to a Frame Capture that you can look and browse yourself to find BSS load. But if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you.